<laughs> Steve Morehouse is the is he late one? Yeah, you know what? There he is. Yeah. Yeah. As uh, as you guys all know, we got a great challenge in Tulsa this week. You know, they opened up with uh, three very difficult opponents, and since then have lost. So they're five and zero in the conference. So they won ten game, I think ten straight conference games. Won ten games a year ago, including the bowl game. And if you look at that football team, you know every every really good team we've played has had a quarterback. This was no different. You know, Kenny's an excellent player. Uh, he's a senior. Uh, he's surrounded by a good cast of players, and uh, we'll have a workforce uh, cut out for us to get him stopped. But uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. It's important to have a great week. So I'll take any questions you got. We're going to run you afterwards for being late. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you got one side of the please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long to go, Coach. No, it's all good. How, how much how much does Kenny remind you of the guy you're you're used to that you were with Tebow? Uh and he's a big physical guy similar to what Tebow is and, and you know when you think of Tulsa at times you guys I mean you probably think of, you know they're throwing the ball over the place and they are but they're they're you know they're what are they? They're second in the conference, I think, you know, second in the rushing mm -hmm. offense. And you know, he's a guy that doesn't look real flashy in the ball and but if you watch that Central Florida game, which I'm sure, sure a lot of you did. You look up and he's gained six to seven yards, you know. But he, you know, he's he's a he's a physical guy that just finds a way to make yardage and finds a way to make plays. But uh, you know, I say all the time, you got to stop the run to win. And in this case, we have to because they are second league in rushing. And, uh, we got to make sure we have to, we do a great job of stopping. Well, they, and they do do some design runs just you know, just for just him. Just for him, yeah. They're they're running quarterback power and read. And, you know, they, they run a lot of the same things that we do. And, uh, you know, they run it off the, off the side go with the speed sweep with the quarterback either reads it or hands it or keeps it and that type of thing. So, you know, we got to be aware of where he is at all times because he, he can beat you, you know, with his arm and his feet. And you, know, you thought at times with that knee injury he had earlier, well, maybe they're not running as much, but that's not the case. I mean, they'll put the ball in his hands in all those games and be very successful. Get everything out of the off week you wanted, injury wise, recruiting wise, and so forth. No, I think, you know, you, you never. You know, you, want, you go into off weeks, and off weeks, you know, when you're playing pretty well, you, at that point, you don't want one. You like to keep going because you, you know, you're concerned about you know, making sure you maintain that edge you can have if you're playing well. And, uh, you know, I thought we made the most of our off week. Uh, you know, the situation we had played last week, we probably have six or seven guys that wouldn't have played that will play now. So that's the positive, but it's important. Uh, you know, we had four days of practice last week. Uh, we had a good practice on Sunday. We got to get back out there today, get the pads on. It's going to be a, this, is, this is a work day. We have to get better. But I thought the recruiting part of it went well. Uh, you know, we covered the areas we need to cover, and uh, now it's time to get back to work and get ready to play again. Coach, uh, you know, a tough schedule last year led to a good run down the stretch for you guys. Uh, last year, you had a tough schedule again this year. Now you guys are playing well. Tulsa is a prime example of that. The guys, the teams they played early. What does that that tough non schedule do for you from state to state? Well, I think you know, it, you know, it helps you if you can if you can survive it. I think the biggest problem that you know, the teams in our conference have had is you know if you come out of the injury free, you, know, you get a lot of kids banged up and beat up. And you know, I think the one thing that Tulsa did is they came out of it healthy because they're playing the same kids and, and uh, you know they, they were battle tested. They played Boise, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State, you know, similar to what we had. You know, they came out of it relatively healthy, and, uh, and they probably and they, they won. They haven't lost a conference game since. So, but you know, going in, they had them all back from a year ago. They won ten games. You know, they had a bunch of kids back, and uh, they're, you know, they're an experienced team, and they got a bunch of seniors that played together a long time. So, they are an excellent team. In injury wise, not specifically, uh, how was Bruin? And, uh, I don't. I'm not sure again, Chuck. We'll have any. You know, Bruin may miss full practice. He may not be all out full go today. But I think. By the time the game gets here on Saturday, we'll have them all playing. About you know, you know, C.J. Wood, Garrett Scott, Tillman, you know, all practiced today. Probably wouldn't have last week. Uh, you know, you know, I think Bruin would not have played if he had to play last week. He, he should play on Saturday. And, uh, you know, we had some other guys that just had some nagging things. The tail, two tailbacks, you know, uh, you know, Trayvon's probably running better than he has in two or four weeks. So it's important that those guys got some rest and got ready to go. So. You know, we'll, we'll know more today in pads, but I feel pretty good that uh, you know Booker and all those guys you know, are probably as healthy as they've been in a while. The only other one, uh, Rashad Jackson. He's, he'll run today. Probably won't practice, but he should be okay by Saturday. Is Trevor Black okay? Yeah, yeah he's, he should practice today. You know, he's, he's been battling some illness, sickness, okay. you know, type of thing, and we're hoping that he's good to go today. You know. Kids all back from the deaths and yeah, personal. Yeah, everybody's counted for. 
roll back to practice Sunday. Three games, you got three game season. You know, there's still a lot of things this team can accomplish that are out there for them, and uh, they understand that. But they also need to understand the only way to get to where we got to go is preparation. You know, you got to have a great week of preparation; it never changes. You know, you have great practices, and you end up playing well on Saturday. So it's important that uh, you know, we have a great day today. It's a little bit of strength versus strength, Doug. I mean, they Tulsa really wants to run the ball, and Marshall takes great pride in being able to stop the run. So it sounds like it's. It's kind of setting up as a good old-fashioned football game. You know, you watch those guys, Chuck, on tape, and they're very well coached, you know, all phases. I mean, their special teams are as good as we've played all year. And, uh, you know, I think I think you can tell a lot about a team, of how well they're coached by watching them play on special teams. I mean, you watch the techniques they use for their return team and, and all that type of thing. But they are. Bill's done a nice job of coaching them. Uh, they're good. They're solid in all phases. And uh, they're the same way on offense and defense. They're just a team that – Looks like they got a bunch of guys that football's important to them. They like to play. They're extremely tough, and they're well coached on all three phases. So we got to make sure we're the same. We have to, we have to make sure we're prepared for them too. What's to say about their program? They've gone through these coaching changes rapidly over the last five years, and they're, they're still pretty consistent. Well, I think the thing you, you see, I mean, you know, anytime you, you, know, you win the number of games they've won over the last, you know, 45 years, whatever it's been, you know, their recruiting has been, you know, you're going to recruit well. You know, they've been to bowls. They won what 10 double-digit wins a year ago, and you know they're uh, you know they were picked to be one of the top teams in the league this year. And you know it's you know number one, the kids know how to win. You know there's a, there's a culture in that program that they, they believe in themselves. They know they can go, they expect to go win every game they play, and and they've they've been able to recruit well because of the success they've had. And, you know any team that's uh, you know located where they're located, you know right there where there's there's a bunch of players in Oklahoma, there's a bunch of players in Texas. And, you know, they're they're, got, they're going to be able to recruit good kids because of where they are, and they've done a good job of doing that. So, you know, like I say, they got they got a program that the kids believe in themselves. They believe they can win, and that's where we're getting to here too. And that's where we have to be uh, on Saturday. Concerned about press, giving out your secrets? No, I'm not concerned about <laughs> not just gonna, you know, He's not going <laughs> to step on the field. He may know our personnel a little bit, but other than that, I don't think anybody's going to have any more concern. A lot of different guys playing when he was there. Uh, <laughs> press is a great kid. He's a great kid. He'll be a great coach. He's done a nice job. Did you cross paths anywhere with Bill Blankenship? Not only the, only at the uh, conference meetings. And he's a, he's a he's very he's been very successful you know, wherever he's been and, uh, and hadn't changed at all. So he's you know, he's done a nice job of you know that team where they start out 0 and 3 I think you know and uh, he's done a nice job holding them together and, and uh, going on and winning the games he should win and uh, he's, he's done a nice job of doing that. He's his team when you watch them will be a good well coach. Tulsa's offense are not as freewheeling as they were a few years ago when Marshall played them, but uh, they still got that funky H back that seems to do it for his player. I mean, they got you know he uh, they got they, they they got a bunch of good players you know, at every position, and they look like they've got guys. They're, and they're phys- they got backs that are big and physical. You know, they're, they got two hundred forty pound backs, and the quarterback's a big man. And you know, one of the keys to this football game is we don't have to tackle extremely well. You know, we watched. Central Florida tape, but they broke a bunch of tackles, including quarterbacks. So, you know, we'll have to make sure we tackle extremely well, and uh, we we'll won't have to get hats on. And one of the things you have to do to do that, you got to make sure you're swarming with the ball, which we've done a good job with that. Make sure we're doing so. The, they, the way they use their H back and they split out their tight ends, I mean, it's. Well, they got their personnel grouping creates some issues for you because, like you say, they're not only lining up in the backfield, they split them out, they flex them, they do a lot of different things. And uh, those kids, again, they play together a long time. And 34 to line up a little bit everywhere. You got to know where he is. Is their defense kind of like a, seem like a, an East Division type of defense, almost like a Southern Miss, the way they're up there, they are? Well, you watch them now. Yeah, they're, they're more, and I don't know what that means, but they, yeah, they, they're, they're more physical. I mean, they're a physical defense. And, uh, you know, you watch them and they're more a Southern Missy type guy. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're ranked, you, know, you eliminate those first three games, they're ranked pretty high in our conference. Do a good job of stopping the run. They swarm the ball. They do a good job, and, uh, and, uh, and again, they'll be a challenge. Can I just early starts, coach? I liked it last time. <laughs> <laughs> so they've had one, and I liked it. So I hope you know, we're not going to change things. You know, we'll keep, we'll stay on the same schedule, and uh, you know, we'll, you know, we'll start talking about that today because it's important. 
when you have an early start like that, that they take care of themselves all week because you, you, you want to be getting them up early and they, they did a nice job with that in the UAB week and then make sure we do the same thing this week. Do you want to change flights? Anything else? No. You said your routine would be the same.